to my YouTube channel. Um, this is the first video I make in English because people who know me uh, for a little longer will know my YouTube channel is originally in Dutch, but uh, while I'm making this video, um, I'm taking an extra course English so I can improve my language. So excuse me if I'm not correctly right now. I'm uh, making work of it. Uh, but first, I will let me introduce to you. My name is Romy. I'm 24 years old and I'm Dutch. Um, and my content in the YouTube channel is uh, currently about my eating disorder and my eating disorder recovery. I'm now eight years in recovery and I'm uh, it's been 13 years since I've been diagnosed with anorexia nervosa. I won't get you into all of the past and uh, my uh, history, when it all started. I've made some videos in Dutch about it, so if you have questions or uh, you want some more content about it, I can do it in the future. But this uh, video, I will bring you back to my point zero, where I've been at the edge of life. Um, so I can make clear where I started. Because a lot of people right now tell me, oh, Romy, you can't help other people because you are so thin right now. Um, you're yourself unhealthy and um, I don't think it's right for you to help other people. But they don't really know where I come from. And um, I've thought some things about it. But I never shared some pictures or videos about uh, my point zero, so I call it. Um, because I'm a little bit embarrassed for it. I will get emotional right now. Um, because this was the most painful and the hardest part of my life I've ever been. I was almost too late and I think that if you think you're not sick enough, that's not, that's not the case. You're always sick enough to get into recovery and to get help if you need to. I want to start at point zero. I am sharing some pictures and videos which can be very triggering for people who are stuck in eating disorder and get triggered very fast. So that's why I started this video with a warning. I want to be real and I want to be open about my journey, where I came from. And um, I'm also going to share some weight. Um, some people will be very curious about and the scale and all those other things, but it can be very triggering. So I will be very obvious in saying that you don't have to see this. Um, you can skip some of this video. But I want to be real and I want to let you see where I came from. And um, I hope it has a message within it that an eating disorder is not only uh, a, th a physical thing but also a mental thing. On this YouTube channel I will, share, I will share some about it and I will take you with me into my recovery zone and I hope I can help you with it and make you more comfortable with your eating disorder and without the signs which are theoretically written down for an eating disorder, you also can have an eating disorder, um, even if it's not anorexia or bulimia or binge eating disorder. And if you have some uh, questions about it, you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get that into an English version. Most of it I want to share my positivity because the mini mod method brought me so much. That's where I uh, 
get grip of my eating disorder to get out of that point zero. It is four years ago now and um, I was home, out of clinic. I think I've been in clinic for eight years, not uh, as long as eight years, but with uh, pauses between them, but uh, episodes for eight to nine months and those uh, every year. So um, it has been eight years and then I, I was so tired of it. I didn't want it anymore and uh, the help I got wasn't helpful for me. And in a uh, clinic I was surrounded by people uh, with an eating disorder which made me more sick and stuck in the eating disorder. When I stayed at home, I didn't recover. It went backwards and backwards and backwards and I fell down until I can't reach the stairs or I uh, couldn't go to the bathroom without my mom and that was the most... I'm sorry. That was the most embarrassing part of my whole life. I was 21 years old and I couldn't go to the bathroom without my mom because I, I haven't got the power. And uh, then there was one night and uh, I had to go to the toilet, I think for four times that night. And I came upstairs in my bedroom. I didn't know exactly what happened, but it all went black and then I fell just straight away on the ground. And I think it took three seconds before my parents and my brother were there. And then I went to bed, to my parents' bed, and they called the ambulance. And then with a lot of sirens and a lot of questions and retalks, it was chaotic. I I went to the hospital and there I I had to stay for at least seven days, I think, before I went to another clinic. But there was the last time. The hospital, they gave me uh, nutritional meals. Beside that, they gave me a lot of minerals. Um, but with all that, my body couldn't get more than 500 calories a day because otherwise it all went black. My body couldn't um, couldn't handle all those food and drinks and um, just before uh, I had a cup of coffee in the morning. I had to go to the toilet, my muscles didn't work, so I really had to be very fast. And um, it was the last time uh, I went on the scale before my weight was going up. And um, the last number I saw was 24. And after that, my mom told me, um, they weighed me some more, but then the scale gave no numbers anymore. So I think um, the last number was 24 and I think I lost maybe at least 2 kilos. So I think my uh, ground zero was 22. Um, I'm a little, a little woman. I'm 1 meter and uh, 53 centimeters. And um, after Minimod, I'm now, uh, I was last week, 32.8. And I didn't do this uh, ever before on this channel, on my uh, Instagram or elsewhere. But I took some videos because I had to talk to somebody and my parents were at work. So I thought... I would make some videos for myself just to talk to someone. This was uh, a very hard situation for me and this is a very hard decision.
because I was at my weakest then and even family didn't see me by that time, only my grandfather and grandmother, but there was no one else. I couldn't handle it, even my brother I couldn't handle because I was so embarrassed and sad and I was tired. My body couldn't go anymore and mentally I was horrified. My head was full of eating disorder and uh, I was so scared of everything and I couldn't beat it because I was so weak. Um, you can skip this part if you want to, but I want to let you know that this was my, uh, my bottom. So I hope you will uh, be respectful. Goedemorgen, het is dag drie. En gisteren was ik echt heel erg verdrietig. Want toen um, lukte het me niet om het voedingslijstje van Andrea te volgen. En merkte ik dat ik bang was dat ik honger kreeg. En toen kreeg ik ook nog echt super veel honger. Maar ik durfde niks te pakken. Dus... Um, toen kwam mama gelukkig op bezoek, maar toen werd ik heel verdrietig. Omdat dat hongergevoel gewoon zo verschrikkelijk is. Zo, de laatste ochtend. Het is tien voor half tien en ik moet nog even ontbijten. Ik heb uh, lauwe koffie, maar dat is wel lekker, maar ik heb er een zoetje in gedaan. Mandarijntje en een schaaltje yoghurt. below 10 mm. and um, earlier in recovery I heard some um, ceilings uh, talking about oh I had a BMI of 8 and I had a BMI of 9 and I always thought that I wasn't sick enough because I wasn't getting lower than a BMI of 13 but by now I was uh, at 7 I think and I really thought, oh, this is it to be at a BMI below 10. And I really can tell you from my experience that wasn't a pleasure. And it didn't make me feel strong. It didn't give me strength or mental power or something else. No, I was weak and I was tired and I couldn't live anymore. That was all what I felt at that moment. This afternoon, I said um, I'm now after mini mod uh, 32.8 kilograms, but that's not totally true because um, when I did mini mod, I gained until I was 35 kilograms. After my hunger feelings were um, coming back, and I was uh, fully satisfied and my body uh, came up with the message like oh hey I've got enough it's okay by now so um, after mini mod I slowly uh, got down in my weight until now until uh, 32.8 kilograms I got a clinic for I think seven months and then um, I went home. While I was in clinic, um, I watched YouTube, just like you watch me now. Um, and I watched other girls who did the mini mod method. And by watching those videos every evening, every evening another video, but following those people, um, who did the mini mod method motivated me and I already heard by that time of the mini mod method I was scared of the weight gain process I was scared of bloating of the feelings of the emotions I was scared of getting binge eating disorder um, and uh, 
fall into the binges every every time i was scared scared of letting go all the fruits and the vegetables because the only food i was thinking about were cookies chocolate ice cream all those things i uh, needed a lot of motivation and because i follow this i want to clarify that because this worked for me this is not the way in recovery for everyone because every person is unique and everyone has another type of eating disorder and needs another way to get into recovery and um, to get through it. But I really want to share with you my life now after mini mod and um, maybe I can do an episode about the mini mod method separately from this one um, because I have a lot to talk about that but if you have questions about it which I can include in that video comment uh, below now and then I think back of uh, those dark days and I honestly uh, have to say that I watched those videos uh, yesterday evening before I went to sleep it gets me so emotional. Oh, I really have to cry about it. Because it was so hard. I always wished out of my eating disorder that I had to go very far before I get into recovery. But uh, don't let it go this far. This is so terrible. And you won't get the feelings which I got. Stop yourself when you, you think you need help for your eating disorder, please get that help because you are worth it and what stage, what type of eating disorder, what weight you are, what BMI you have, it's not worth it to get that far because if you get as far it's only the question if you get a chance to get into recovery or if you're gonna die the way I get to my lowest weight wasn't um, what I wish for you I wish you the best and I wish you all the help you need and an eating disorder is not something only seen by your physical state no, an eating disorder is biological and uh, um, especially for mental health and I hope that I can make you help you through your recovery with this first video in English I hope I can give you a little insight in what my past is to introduce you who I am what my plans are for the future next episode would be about mini mode method so if you have questions about it please comment below don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and for the second time excuse me for my terrible english i am working on it so <laughs> i hope the next video it gets better and it gets better by the time um yeah that was uh, this week's episode and i hope i can see you next week